Pablo Picasso, the famous painter who co-founded the Cubist movement, said, every child is an artist. The problem is staying an artist when you grow up. You see, as kids, we are totally immersed in creativity. Life is all about discovery and exploration and possibility. But when we start school, we also start with the true or false, fill in the blank, only one right answer, standardization. So what happens is, as you got older, your thinking became less lateral and more linear, making sure that you color inside the lines. I'm Mia Zachary, best-selling writer, inventor of noodle cubes, and I want you scribbling all over the page again. Creative thinking and problem solving is the most important skill you can develop. Creative problem solving is going to make you an invaluable asset in any workplace. If you can figure out how to fix things in one arena, that's a skill that you're going to take everywhere you go. And creative thinking is going to expand the ways that you communicate and express yourself, which is going to make you invaluable to the world. Now, I, I know, maybe you don't think you're the creative type, but you are. We all have millions of brain cells generating thousands of thoughts every day. You know, it, it's not that you aren't creative, it's that you've forgotten how or maybe don't recognize it when it happens. You see, every time you're faced with even the smallest challenge, you're being creative because you have to figure a way out or a way forward. Uh, let me give you an example. Remember the Apollo 13 mission? Remember Jim Lovell and his crew were in the damaged Mercury 5 spacecraft and there was a, a very real possibility that they were going to die. Well, it was geometry and physics and logic and analysis and engineering that got them to the moon, but it was creativity that brought them home. You see, back here on Earth, those amazing guys at NASA had to use duct tape and spare parts to think of a way to get a square CO2 scrubber into a round hole thousands of miles away. So the, the point of telling you this is not to scare you. Creativity isn't out of your reach. Think of it as a bridge between imagination and innovation. So what does that really mean? Let's simplify it. Well, imagination is just a mashup of your memories, your observation, and, and your wonder. It's the ability to make pictures in your head. Creativity, then, is the ability to manipulate those pictures to come up with a solution or a new idea. And innovation is the ability to take those pictures from your head and manifest them in the real world. Okay, okay, I hear you. Your brainstorms feel more like a light drizzle. I get that. But I'm here to help you with that. Think of me as your idea rainmaker. I'm going to remind you how to imagine and teach you how to experiment with your thoughts. You see, creativity, it's kind of like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets the better you're going to be and the further it's going to take you. That's why I invented the noodle cubes. These are just fun, easy to use, portable idea dice that are going to help you unleash your imagination anywhere, every time. The other thing that I created is a special report just for you. It's called Eight Little Keys to Unlock Your Imagination. In this free report, I'm going to share with you eight simple steps to get you creating in no time. If you'd like instant access to your copy, then all you have to do is fill out the, yeah, you guessed it, the instant access form, and I will get that to you right away. I will give you one little hint, though. Step five is to have fun. All of the tools and resources that I would love to share with you all make the same point. Don't harness your imagination. Take the harness off and let your imagination go play. You see, it's your life. Let your imagination make something of it. Once again, I'm Mia Zachary. I empower people through words, 
and help them tell their stories of their life or their business. If I can be of service to you, please let me know. And in the meantime, I wish you luck, I wish you success, and most of all, I wish you joy.